Oh, wow. We've got the kit to Black Cat. And my goodness, she does a lot of things. Preventing speed bar manipulation and not only wiping revive once from the team, but applying it. So there's a lot of soft counters to really strong hits. Uh, let's take a look at it. I'm a little blown away. And more importantly than that, she is not Mystic. We'll be taking her into Dark Dimension. I do not want to take Nick Fury. And she is skill. So let's just read the blog post. I got a lot of comments and a lot of thoughts about this. The next legendary, Meow. And we're going to get the requirements for it. Uh, landing on her feet in, in battle is a legend that you definitely don't want to cross paths with. Black Cat, the infamous feline felon, will be leading the newly formed secret defenders who will be kings of the arena and jungle when their team is fully formed. Joining Black Pack will be newcomers, Photon now. We have a data mine on Photon, which we're going to read here in a little bit. Ms. Marvel, Hard Light, so that's a new character. Ghost Rider, Robbie, so that's a new character. And then Doctor Strange, so that's going to be OG Doctor Strange. Getting upgraded to bring his Battlefield magic to the team. Your first shot at recruiting Black Cat will be during her upcoming Trials event, which you can earn her character shards. Difficulty 5 plus will require nowhere, including Nova and or Sinister Six characters. So start powering up these squads and ensure you can hit the highest run score possible. I have all the details for Black Cat's trial and upcoming blog, so be on the lookout. But for now, let's dive into Black Cat. All right, we're going to read her backstory. Daughter of the world-renowned cat burglar, uh, Felicia Hardy followed in her father's footstep, adopting the name Black Cat and becoming an international, international thief. She's an accomplished gymnast, a deadly fighter, and has been outfitted with technology to cause bad luck for anyone nearby. Black Cat has danced the line of a hero and villain throughout her career, partnering with the likes of Spider-Man on some occasions and leading crime rings and others. Black Cat is a legendary brawler for the Secret Defenders. She specializes in pilfering positive effects and speed bar from enemies and her speed bar manipulation or resistance is pretty powerful. I have to say, I think it's going to be very good. And ripping them to shreds with her razor sharp attacks that dig in deep for piercing damage. After stealing positive effects and doing damage, Black Cat leaves the scene of her attack with the target holding her previously owned negative attack effects. Black Cat also features awakened abilities that give her team a big boost in mirror match uh, with Arena. And if the awakened abilities are going to be anything like Nova. They're going to be super pay to win, pay heavy. And it looks like it's it. they mostly just benefit the mirror matches. Now, skill. So that's going to be very important and legendary. So I've already been looking at my Dark Dimension 6 planner. And, you know, we were talking about in Dark Dimension 6, you know, the non-horseman legendary. And right now, I've got Nick Fury here. Nick Fury will not be going to gear tier 18. No, no, no. Uh, Black Cat will. And uh, then also for this last part right here. And frankly, anything other than Mystic is was welcomed. Absolutely. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, we're going to go to her passive because, my goodness, passive has got so many things in it. At the start of any match, bio enemies cannot spawn with speed up. And initially, I think that's going to affect two teams. Uh, so this is the passive on Spider-Man 2099 on spawn. If Spider-Weaver is an ally gain speed up, well, that will not happen. And then in war, bronze passive on spawn. If Hulk is an ally gain safeguard and immunity on spawn, apply speed up to self and all gamma allies. So this right here. Um, there might be other interactions, but mostly what I'm seeing is that that'll affect Tangled and Gamma on War. On Spawn, gain three charged, which is gonna, we're gonna circle back to charged. Nine death proofs, which is uh, nine lives now. This death proof mechanic is vital on how important she plays out. And boy, that sounds super annoying. And immunity. In arena, apply safeguard to self and all secret defender allies. Check this. Clear revive once from all enemies, and this gains a hundred uh, thousand percent extra focus 
And then if any enemy had revived once, gain revived once. So that is a direct call out to Dormammu, right? On any turn, if this character has five or more charge, the following will happen. And we'll circle back to this because her special, which is going to pop out first, she's going to get two more charges. And this is going to trigger. Clear all negative effects from this character. Heal for 30% of this character's max health. Fill this character's speed bar by 30%. All right, so that's going to be when she gets to the five charge right there. And then gain one safeguard up to a maximum of two and then lose five charges. This is going to be probably one of the most impactful parts on her kit. While this character has death proof and she's going to spawn with nine of them, this character and all secret defender allies cannot have their speed bar reduced. And all of the horsemen have some abilities that remove speed bar. Hulk, Rogue, uh, Hulk special, Rogue special, Archangel's passive. My goodness, Morgan Le Fay's special. Oh my God, that will be disaster. Reduce speed bar for herself, all allies and all enemies. Well, that <laughs> doing Morgan Le Fay's speed bar while you're playing against Black Cat, and when Black Cat has death proof, you're gonna be lowering the, the turn meter on your team, but not their team. Get wrecked, nerds, my goodness. Um, turn meter manipulation in this game is very, very, very powerful. It's a turn-based game, and being able to manipulate turn meter largely uh, is gonna make for a better character and and other characters that have turn meter reduction would be uh cersei and icarus and even king well that's just not going to happen on this team right here and getting rid of these death proofs is not going to be easy because they're going to have safeguard right in arena apply safeguard yourself and all secret defender allies so you're not going to be able to strip those nine death proofs away easily when she has safeguard so while this character has death proof this character and all secret defender allies cannot have their speed bar reduced and also scroll super scroll all right so there's a ton of characters that have that speed bar reduction and then we're going to also look at the, the 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 data mine for photon because there's a call out that counteracts emma which is not turn meter reduction it's actual speed reduction is what emma does and there's a call out to that so not even Emma's gonna work, right? For each death proof on this character, gain 10% armor, 10% chance to counterattack. She's gonna have nine of them, 10% focus and 10% resistance and 50% max health. Secret Defender and Spider-Man allies gain 50% max health. Now, this is gonna be uh, the Awaken ability, which where it's unknown how this is gonna be acquired. If it's anything like Nova, it's gonna be super pay to win. In arena offense, enemies cannot spawn with death proof. Lower damage reduction for enemies that do not have death proof by 15%. So this is going to be uh, specifically targeting the mirror match. Now we're going to go to the special because the special is going to go off uh, initially right here. Special bad luck for you by five. Attack primary target for piercing and doing the following effects. Primary target by trauma. Powerful bleed disrupted and stun. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So you got trauma plus stun combo, which is um, effective against uh, Apocalypse, right? Uh, who has kind of like an anti-stun mechanic, but when you've got trauma, there you go, right? Uh, copy and clear three positive effects, except taunt on primary target to self, reduce speed bar by 10%, clear one charge. Rebound chain for four adjacent targets for piercing, apply bleed, clear one charge on each target. So uh, that's a, a very interesting mechanic. Not a lot of characters have the ability of removing charge. Silver Surfer is one of them. And this is going to rebound chain and be removing charges. Again, very powerful. Fill speed bar by 10% for this character. Apply plus two charge to self and all secret defender allies. I imagine this is gonna be more important when you get to see the rest of the kits. Well, then she'll have five charges and that'll proc the passive, which is gonna be these three lines right here. So those three lines are gonna basically pop off uh, immediately after the special goes, cause then she'll be at five charge. Ultimate, uh, five seven. So this should go off on her second turn. Do the following actions, the primary target, clear immunity, transfer all negative effects and vulnerable. So uh, right now, uh, it, 
being able to get rid of vulnerable and 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 put it on <laughs> wow a vulnerable manipulation we've never had that for himself copy and clear charged on all positive effects including taunt to self in arena this character has trauma applied trauma wow uh, attack for piercing reduce speed bar by 20 percent do the following actions to this character gain immunity in arena the primary target has safeguard gain safeguard fill speed bar by 20 percent gain one charge Enemies killed by this attack cannot be revived. This attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked. And then this is the Awakened ability. Again, we talked about that a little bit. On Arena Offense, apply blind to primary target and one random spider verse enemy. Okay. And then we're going to go look at the basic. And the base looks like she's going to be a, a good candidate for striker, but that'll be my initial thoughts. Primary target for piercing, apply slow and two bleed, reduce speed bar, primary target by 5%, fill speed bar on this character by 5%. If this character has 30% or less health, gain stealth, gain a charge, enemies killed by this attack cannot be revived. So Spider Weaver has something like that. And then this is the waking ability on arena offense. This attack ignores defense up and then a lot of the good stuff also are present there in her ISO 8 counter attack and assist. So that's why I'm thinking that uh, Striker, she's gonna be a good good candidate for that. Now, we do have a data mine here and the data mine is uh, meshes Photon. And Photon has a direct call out to Emma, which kind of just puts the icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned for the rest of this kit. Photon is here to blast through arena opponents for the secret defender team and serve as the official fifth member of A-Force. So um, I, we're speculating that, that that Photon may be used uh, in war with A-Force. And the earlier this week, we talked about the A-Force reworks. And then Arena, Photon will play with the Secret Defenders, which is going to be the new Ms. Marvel, the new Ghost Rider. And then there's going to be a rework to the OG Doctor Strange. So we don't know much information about that. So team secret defender A Force is gonna have both tags strengths off arena war offense specialty high damage to multiple targets bonus damage based on target health ability highlights clears enemy positive effects implies defense down gives allies defense up secret defender and A Force bonuses increase ally health and damage and speed can only be reduced for herself and allies by slow so that specifically is just Emma. Emma uh, alters the actual speed of the the you know the other side team by ten percent, which works similarly as speed up and speed down. So speed up gives fifty percent speed. Speed down gives minus fifty percent speed down. So basically, this this is exclu you know basically might as well say Emma's passive won't work is what it's saying, and that's the only character currently that that applies to. Ultimates give speed up and ability energy to allies, arena bonuses, additional damage for herself and secret defender allies, war offense bonuses providing healing each turn to A Force allies and additional healing when using her special ability. Speed bar cannot be reduced for A Force allies or herself until after her first turn. Okay, there you go. How to recruit. Don't miss out these opportunities to earn her shards. Bright Light Orb, limited time offers in the store, upcoming event, Red Stars for players who have unlocked the Red Star feature. Photon is featured in Red Star Orbs with increased drop rates for a limited time. Recruit this Shimmering Sentinel to start building your Secret Avengers and add the fifth member to your Force team. So uh, I guess we're going to have a patch next week, let's say like Tuesday or Wednesday. And if I were to guess, because this is showing up in the data mine, uh, that Photon will probably be the first character for sale sometimes normally they've done that on patch day which is either going to be on tuesday or wednesday but we're going to have to see what do you think what do you think about the art here i'm just going to say that i do like this very much uh other marvel mobile games um have a more aggressive look <laughs> than this right here this looks like it's toned down compared to the way that I've seen Black Cat in games like Marvel Snap and uh, games like Marvel Future Fight, but I'm a fan one way or another. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Bye for now.